Hi, and welcome to episode one of Crondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hudgens. I'm a Ruby on Rails dev and also the CTO of devcamp.com. Mondays aren't always fun. So on Mondays, I'm going to cover a difficult computer science topic and give a dead simple explanation of how it works along with a real world case study. Whenever I have a hard time understanding a feature that I need to build in or some type of topic, what I usually do is try to find a base case for that topic and then work my knowledge up from there. And that's what's really has inspired this show. And for today's topic, I'm going to cover MapReduce and how I could use the MapReduce functionality on the Crondos website. Now, if you go to crondos.com, you'll have the ability to enter in a suggestion for future topics. So we're going to pretend, even though the site just launched, that we have a million of topic suggestions. And if you do have any topic suggestions, please log on there and add that, and I can add any new topics to the queue of shows. In our case study, we're at millions of topic suggestions. It would take me way too long to be able to go through those and try to decide which topics are the most popular. So if I have a million of them, I can't go through them one by one. And it would even take a long time to try to build an algorithm that would iterate through each one and give me the results that I want. So what we're going to do is talk about how we could use the MapReduce functionality in order to do that for us. At a high level, MapReduce is an algorithm and a process that was developed at Google and lets you take large amounts of data and be able to break different processes that you want to run on that data into smaller chunks to help you stretch it over large sets of servers and also so you can do it in more of a real-time basis as opposed to having to run one long method call on a huge data set. It lets you essentially separate your concerns out and be able to manage larger sets of data in a little bit easier way. In order to implement MapReduce, we're going to follow the following steps. First, we're going to pass each suggestion to the MapReduce method to tokenize, which and tokenize means to convert each suggestion into an array of words. Next, we're going to use the map method to return a series of key value elements. Algorithm, suggestion one, Ajax, suggestion two, etc. Third, the MapReduce framework is going to sort out the return value so that they're a little bit easier and more efficient to work with. And lastly, the reduce method would iterate over each of the values and tally up the popularity of each word. So the final result would be something like algorithms, which was listed 5,000 times. Object-oriented programming was listed 1,500 times. And go through each one of the topics and what, they, what the recommendation were and what the count was. And once I have that data, it'd be a lot easier to manage and then I can decide on what type of shows to do next. So that is a dead simple explanation of MapReduce. It's obviously much more complex, and if you look on the show notes, you can go and access some other resources where you can take your knowledge to the next level.